Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship has been forever changed and the once close brothers will never get back to the way they were, source tells People. Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship has been forever changed and the once close brothers will never get back to the way they were, according to a royal source. The Duke, 35, and Duchess of Sussex, 38 returned to the UK last week for their final engagements before quitting as senior members of the royal family on March 31. Prince Harry and brother Prince William, 37, reunited on Monday for the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, with royal watchers branding their interaction frosty. A source told People magazine the once close relationship between the brothers had been forever changed, saying, they won't get back to the way they were. Harry is looking straight ahead at his future with his family. Meanwhile the insider added that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex now plan to focus on spending time in Meghan's home of California, as well as Canada, with their 10-month-old Archie. They added that Prince Harry was focused on his relationship with Meghan and Archie and wouldn't look back. It follows ongoing claims over the past 18 months of a rift between the Sussexes and the Cambridges, first between Kate and Meghan and then between future King Prince William and his younger brother, Harry. The Fab Four appeared in February 2018 to promote the royal foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But the two households went on to split, with Harry and Meghan leaving Kensington Palace for Frogmore Cottage in Windsor and appointing their own staff. An insider revealed yesterday that the Sussexes are in no rush to mend their fractured relationship, despite the fact Harry. 35, misses his brother, 37. They're cordial, but that's about as far as it goes, they told us weekly. Harry misses his brother and Kate, but there's too much mud under the bridge at this point for any meaningful communication. Meanwhile royal expert Omid Scobie revealed that Prince Harry and Meghan wanted to find places where they feel safe, heard and respected now they've left the UK because there hasn't been enough of that recently. Speaking on the AirPod podcast, Omid said the Duke and Duchess would focus on being with people they trust and like to be around after stepping down as senior royals. The Commonwealth Day service was Harry and Meghan's final hurrah as senior royals before they bow out and embrace their new life in North America, after announcing their intention to quit in January. Body language expert Judy James said it was not exactly the warm reunion we were hoping for and Prince Harry's tension was palpable. Meghan has already started her new life after flying straight to Canada from the Commonwealth Day service on Monday to reunite with baby Archie, while Prince Harry has stayed in the UK to finish royal engagements. From March 31, the monarch's grandson and American former actress Meghan will no longer use their HRH styles as they pursue a new life of personal and financial freedom. 